So today I want to introduce you to the newest member of the Nature's Always Right family. This is Millie right here. She's our new dog. And if you're following me on Instagram, you probably already met her. But today I want to tell you the full story of how Millie found us. Last week, I was at a friend's house for church and my wife sent me a picture of this dog. And we had never seen her before. We didn't know any neighbors that had a dog that looked like her. And so we just assumed she was either a stray or maybe some neighbor's dog got out and we just hadn't seen her before. Um, so, you know, we went on with our day and we didn't, she went away, we never saw her again. Um, then the next morning, we went out to go pick some of the shiitake mushrooms that we recently set up and on our way back to the house, we noticed that she was in the gazebo over here and she had slept there all night it looked like. So at that point, we sort of assumed she was probably abandoned because as we approached her, you know, she looked very depressed, uh, cautious. She didn't look like she had an owner or a very good owner at that. She didn't have a collar on and she looked a little bit underweight as well. So we had already been thinking about getting a dog. You know, this was a little bit sooner than we wanted, but she showed up on our doorstep and we said, okay, let's, let's try and feed her. Let's, let's see what happens. Um, and then we'll also look online to see if we can find if anybody's looking for her in the local area. So when I tried to approach her and get close, she actually ran away from me. So we decided we just put food and water on the gazebo for her and went away. And within 30 minutes to an hour, she came back she ate the food, drank the water, and she was obviously really hungry watching her eat. And so we started the process of getting her to trust us. We put the food closer to the house. Um, but then when we came outside, she ran away immediately. So then we said, okay, well maybe she's more comfortable with the gazebo area. So we put the, the food and water back at the gazebo. A couple hours went by and we didn't see her and we're like, oh no, we. You know, we really like this dog. We hope she comes back. And my wife went out there to, just to go check to see, to look at the food and water, see if she needed more or if she had come back. And she was sitting in the gazebo again. But this time she looked really friendly. She started wagging her tail and she came up to my wife and allowed her to pet her. And at that point I came out too and we introduced ourselves to her. Sweet. She looks young. So sweet. Yeah. Oh, oh you're the cutest girl. little thing. <laughs> wow. So here she is. She's the new farm dog. I'm gonna have to go into town and get some supplies. Wow, this is so fun. She's so, so such a nice personality and she's a blue healer, we think. And that's a really great uh, breed for farm dogs. So can't wait to <laughs> get to know her more. So once we got her to trust us, we knew she needed a bath because she had fleas, she stank, right? Didn't she stink, Millie? And so she didn't like that very much, but we held her there and we got her, we got her clean. Um, and we've given her a couple more baths after that. She's getting more and more used to it. And it's fun seeing her grow and, and learn as we train her. So after the bath, we said, okay, well, we need to schedule a vet appointment. We need to make sure that she Number one, doesn't have a chip, that she's not owned by somebody. And number two, that she's of course healthy and you know doesn't need any special care or something. So the vet told us that she's probably about seven to eight months old based upon her teeth growth. And she said that she's a cattle dog mix. And we think that she's a pit healer, the blue healer and pit bull mixed together. That's just based on how she looks and kind of her personality. But I don't know, what do you guys think? What breed do you think that Millie is? And she also of course told us she's totally healthy totally good to go. You know, we kept looking and it doesn't appear that she had an owner, so we adopted her. Okay, so she's gonna come inside for the first time. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come on. 
on. We get a treat. Come on. Yes. Come on. Come on. Really. Come here. Come here. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. Come on. Come get the treat. There you go. Yeah. Is that good? Come here. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, there you go. She's in. See? It's nice in here. You fill my head with roses. I can help but dream. Oh, and she's back out. <laughs> she's not sure of herself yet. So this last week we've just been you know, trying to give her really good nutrition, feeding her a little bit of chicken, a little bit of uh, raw beef, a little bit of raw rabbit that I had left over. You know, of course, some good dog food. We even steamed some kale and carrots for her, just trying to get all, you know, get her back in action here. And now she's looking incredibly healthy. I think her weight is really good now. And she's just been a fantastic dog already. I mean, pretty well mannered. You know, like all dogs, especially young ones, she loves jumping up on you and all that. And it's, you know, super playful. She loves to snuggle. It's just so fun, you know, sitting on the couch and she'll come up and snuggle up to you. So she's a very loving dog. And uh, I think she's just gonna be really excellent as a farm dog here as well, because being that she is a cattle dog, um, she, you know, loves to work. She, she likes to work with animals. Um, so it'll just be a process of training her of what to do with the animals and you know she's going to be a great protector for our property as well as our animals. So we're just really excited to have Millie as part of our family now and to continue working with her to get her trained and just be this really awesome dog and she's already an awesome dog but it'll be fun when she's got a lot more skills. She knows sit, she loves playing fetch with her ball. She is super fast when she runs around. Um, if you've ever seen cattle dogs work a herd of cows, it's really impressive. Just this tiny dog moves these huge animals and they just dart around like bullets. So um, it's funny too, because when we were looking at breeds, we were looking at you know Australian Shepherds, um, German Shepherds, we were considering Pitbull as well. And then she's kind of a mix of those, those breeds together. So it's pretty amazing that she just showed up one day and you know, she ended up being the perfect dog for us. I'm excited to show her off in some more videos and I uh, hope you guys are excited to meet her. And yeah, she's just such a good girl. As you can see, she sat here this whole time through the video with me. She never wants to leave our side wherever we are in the house. And it's just really fun having a dog again after um, many years after our family dog passed away. And it's fun having my own dog now that um, yeah, me and my wife are the pack leader of and having fun with her.